up y'all so i'm just gonna jump right into it this video is gonna be the last video of the year and the end of the first chapter of my life what that means is i'm just basically gonna take some time to myself and just to reflect do some self-improvement y'all know how i feel about self-improvement and just refocus my vision and remember why i started this channel in the first place posting weekly has been bittersweet with you know juggling a full-time job the gym four times a week and then editing videos takes eight hours minimum outside of editing recording thinking about the topics thinking them through you know writing them out like the planning you know just juggling everything and still maintaining a consistent posting schedule still maintaining the courage to keep going and to keep posting even though i didn't get the results that i was hoping for still pushing myself to do that with everything else that i just mentioned has been a lot with that being said a break is well well needed and so that's why that i'm making this video to just basically wrap up this year and i think it is also a perfect time to wrap it up as i'm transitioning into the next chapter of my life what was the best moments of this year and you know doing lexi lane or just and just this year in general finishing the videos laying on the couch and getting my phone and finally seeing when it's done and crying like that's always the best moment of every week when I'm done editing. Another favorite moment that I had was when I posted my very first video. I remember literally y'all, my grown self was jumping up and down and was in tears happy when I saw my first video was uploaded to YouTube, zero interaction, zero likes, whatever. Like I was bawling like a baby, kid you not. EJ looked at me like I was crazy. When I posted the first one, do the first edit, I think it was the my first one, the atlanta pros and cons of atlanta and that wasn't even the first video that i edited y'all but that's different topic different day but when i posted that first video was in tears and i was so and I, I was so happy and i do remember being i think maybe a day after i was so sad <laughs> because i'm like why isn't anybody but it's the first video girl relax you know nobody knows you yet relax um but that was one of my favorite moments and my best moments is when i posted it that was the start of we ain't gonna stop now that that was the start another one of my best moments this year was when my logo was finally finished i wish i had my lexi land book sitting right in front of me it should always be right here if i'm recording i want to say it was august 2022 is when i my logo was finally finished for was it in august yeah it probably was august if I'm wrong, I'm gonna check my book and I'm gonna put it in here. But anyway, that was one of my best moments is when my logo was finally complete and the animation in the beginning and, you know, the animation in the end, when that was complete, I think that was one of my favorite moments. I'm like, oh my God, this is real. This is gonna be on, you know, a screen one day. Like, I, I'm not gonna be the only one that sees this. Like, this is gonna be associated with me, with Lexi Land. So I think that was one of my best I think that was one of my best moments as well. Another one of my best moments of this year as a whole in general outside of Lexi Land was changing my last name to EJ's last name and becoming, you know, a wife and becoming married. I think I was more excited to change my last name than I was to become a wife and to be married. <laughs> as y'all saw our, um, was it our first week married video? I was terrified, you know, I was terrified to be a wife. I was terrified to be married even though I was with this man for 10 years. I was terrified, okay? Um, but even through that, me being terrified, I was excited that I got to change my name and that I was, you know, a different name. I was a missus, you know, in my last name. So I think that was my one of my best moments of the year. And then the last best moment of this year to me in general was just falling deeply in love with the gym. Um, I used to go maybe twice a week, sometimes three times a week, but now I go, you know, and then there's days where I'm like, oh, I didn't want to go and do but this year, y'all, I was playing no games. Did not, I have not missed a day, you know, unless I was sick, which I'd rarely get sick. Um, four times a week, faithfully. Like, if I don't go to the gym, I'm super depressed. I'm like, what do I do with my time? Like, this time is supposed to be for the gym, not doing nothing else. So I have to go to the gym at my set schedule when I get off work. Gym for, you know, an hour and a half to two hours like that's something that i fell deeply in love with it does not seem like a chore it's not nothing i hate so that's something one of my best moments of this year is like it don't even feel like discipline anymore like at first I used to feel like discipline getting up going to the gym now it feels like a part of your my routine like getting up and brushing my teeth so it's something that i'm i love that i forced myself to 
to do and to fall in love with because now I'm, you know, I am. I'm in love with the gym and it's it's normal to me. Like it's not a chore. What was the hardest moment this year? I would say dealing with my anxiety and my depression is always challenging and difficult, especially when doing Lexiland. I think it was more, it was triggered more often due to the lack of the results, my expectations going into it and you know, my um, not adjusting and having to adjust my expectations throughout this entire process and also giving myself credit. I think that you know, with all the pep talks I give myself and encouragement, I could wake up tomorrow and have to do it again because I'm back, you know, down and back depressed. And your mind is a very, very powerful tool. Another hard moment this year was just learning to be comfortable on camera. I'm more comfortable, I would say I'm more comfortable than I was when I first started, but I'm still not comfortable because y'all know I don't like being, I don't like sharing pieces of me. But I will say that while that is the hardest part, it is one of Lexi Lynn is one of the main tools that has allowed me aside from the gym to become more open not only on camera but in my personal life I'm more of an open book I'm still not all the way open I'm like like that but I was like this before so I think that Lexi Lynn or doing this channel has helped me to be more open and to share more of me and not be afraid I mean what's the worst that can happen it is what it is either people like you or they don't I mean and Lexi Lynn has allowed me to say that and feel that and move through my life like that. Like it is what it is. Either they're gonna fuck with me, they're not, and, and keep it moving. Um, another hard moment, y'all, is thinking of topics. <laughs> Woo, y'all, that is another reason why I'm like, you know what? I'm in my chapter here. And in order to be, you know, the best version of myself, myself and my product, my Lexi Lynn, I need to make sure that my content has good t intentions behind it. And by doing that, if I'm not in the right, you know, state of mind, or if I'm just got a lot going on, I need to take a pause and I need to go back to the drawing board and think of these topics that are going to help people like me and people that were me growing up. So y'all topics are not easy when it's intentional when you're you want it to be of value it's not easy putting myself my emotions my experiences and everything in those topics has been the one of the hardest things and of course sticking to my three days a week schedule y'all i was doing so good at first i swear i was doing so good i think i've maintained posting three times a week for probably like six, seven months. I would have to go back and look, but I was on a roll, y'all. And I was on top of gym four days a week for two hours, eight hour shifts, Monday through Friday, editing the videos, which take a, probably like eight hour, eight to 10 hours to edit and do what I gotta do. That was hard. Posting consistently three times a week for the last six months and then narrowing it down to once a week was still hard. It wasn't as hard as three, but it was, it almost felt impossible, y'all. Another hard and challenging moment this year, and just overall, y'all, is was living in Georgia. Living in Georgia is difficult. I saw a video or a meme or a post, whatever. Somebody said living in Georgia was for the uh, was not for the weak, was not for the weak, or was for the strong. And I disagree because, <laughs> well, I'm gonna save that for chapter two in another video. But in short, living in Georgia has been one of the hardest moments for me, not because Georgia was hard, but because living in an environment outside of what I am accustomed to and, you know, navigating through different social dynamics. I'm choosing my words carefully, y'all, because I'm gonna, I wanna talk about this more in chapter two when I come back in a different video. Um, but that has been hard, very challenging. One of the most challenging moments of my life experience, honestly, as a whole. And again, it's not because this state is, is just not for the weak, but yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> what do I want to say to Lexi Land? Um, man y'all 
Alexis, I love you very much. You've worked very, very hard. Girl, keep going. And words can't even, I can't even get the words together. Just go look in your orange notebook. Thank you. You know, I appreciate this channel for, you know, bringing me out of my comfort zone, for giving me a hobby, giving me something to do, and for feeling like I'm doing it for the people in the back, the people like me, the people that, you know, don't necessarily have a voice and whose stories kind of get, you know, buried and categorized with someone else's stories just because of how we look or the environments that we're in. Um, but all in all, this channel was intentionally created for aspiring wives, moms, and just people that, you know, want to be better than they were yesterday. And, you know, people who are realistic, who are authentic, who are, you know, not trying to be like everybody else and, you know, blend in with the culture and just, you know, just being better than we are in general and, and, and speaking up for yourself and standing out from the crowd and combating, you know, the social things that are going on today. And because and it's a lot, it's a lot going on today and being able to cut it off and, you know, still be better and still set boundaries and still, you know, be the best version of yourself. So this channel encourages that and it was intentionally created for that purpose to just push that and, and keep you motivated and you know show you that being normal is fine and having realistic goals is fine and bad days is fine and not being perfect all the time when you record or do things or go through life is fine sharing your the the the, the challenging moments are fine being honest is fine but yes you guys i'm gonna close y'all out one more time for the one time before i dip out and you know we transition into chapter two this is the end of chapter one thanks for rocking with me and thanks for vibing with me returning subscribers hey y'all don't forget to subscribe button before you dip and i will see y'all in the next video thanks guys